This crisis on Ukraine's border has been created by the Kremlin. Moscow has been waging a war in Ukraine's east, a limited war in Ukraine's east for eight years. And that war has been a failure, which is why Putin is now threatening an invasion. Clarity is the most important thing to understand a crisis. And kind words to a Kremlin bent on aggression is not going to make Kremlin back away. You need strength. And the administration is doing the right thing by calling Russia out for its aggression, for its needless provocation, and for its lies. What is the route to diplomatic solution, then, if uh, that is the line you're taking? Strength. The West has tried to accommodate, and I'm using that polite word, not appease, to accommodate the Kremlin when, when Moscow launched a war on Georgia in 2008. Accommodation failed because Moscow then launched a war on Ukraine in 2014, first by seizing Crimea when the West was again weak, and then by starting its undeclared war in Donbass. So strength is what's necessary to deal with a bully and an aggressor. And Putin's aims go beyond Ukraine. And we need to stop Putin or help Ukraine stop Putin in Ukraine. Can you justify that comment, Putin's aims go beyond Ukraine? What do you mean by that? All you have to do is read the Munich speech he gave in 2007 or read the two draft treaties that the Russians sent first to the United States and then to NATO just six weeks ago. Putin wants not just a pledge by NATO that no new country can join NATO. He wants NATO to remove all the forces and all the equipment put in the NATO countries that joined NATO after the Cold War ended. This would give Putin the ability to um, extend his influence, not just on the countries in the former Soviet Union, like Ukraine, but also countries in the former Warsaw Pact, like Poland, like Romania, like Hungary. And this is very much contradicts American interest. It very much contradicts the treaties that the Russians themselves, I should say the declarations that the Russians themselves signed, like the Paris Charter, like the Helsinki Final Act.